Hello, this is Pastor Willie B. O'Neill of the Mount Canaan Full Gospel Church. We thank you for joining our live stream today, and I hope you enjoy the message. Enjoy. We'd love for you to join us on Sundays. Our first service begins at 8 a.m., and our second worship service begins promptly at 10.30. We look forward to seeing you. that we come out with after we have been through some stuff that's hindering God from being able to work in our life. Because I'm operating as, a, as an orphan in my mind coming to church every Sunday. But God says, I want you to know that I'm your father. I want you to know that I care enough about you that I gave my son before the foundation of the world. Now look at this. Let me go to the word because I don't want y'all to think I'm making this up. Go back to Ephesians with me. Chapter 1. Take me, if you would, please, to verse 5. Hear the word. Having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, According to the good pleasure, uh-huh, let's go to six. To the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he has made us accepted. Wait a minute. Wait. Wherein he has made us accepted in the beloved. Now, who is the beloved? Jesus Christ is the beloved. He said, now what I've done is I'm, I'm bringing you into something through him. Because he has never been an orphan. Y'all ain't ready. Go to seven. Take me to seven. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. In whom we have redemption. Oh God. The forgiveness of sins according to the riches of Oh, Lord. See, our uh, orphans don't even know how to become adopted. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Go to eight. Take me to eight. Take me to eight. I get excited. Y'all have to, y'all pray for me. Wherein he has abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence. Let's go to nine. Look. Having made unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pledge which he has purposed when he shaped everything in the beginning he was thinking about us <laughs> what kind of day I got you on my mind. And here we are walking around like we don't have nobody that care about us. Let's start at verse Colossians 10. Thank you. Woo, look at the word. Look at the word. I just look at it on the page. It says that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing. Being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Take me to level. Strengthened with all might according to his glorious power and to all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Take me to 12. Giving thanks unto the Father. Look, which has made us meet to be partakers, look at this, of the inheritance. Listen, what he's saying is, I want to, look, first of all, you didn't pick me. I predestined you. I picked you before you even realized that you were going to need me. So then, now that we're together, I got something already stored up for you that I want you to have, that I'm going to give to you through the firstborn of many brethren. That's Jesus. He said,
said, now what I want you to do, I want you to embrace me as your father. Then I want you to get to know your brother. <laughs> That's too much. That's too much. That's too much. Take, take, woo, take me to 13. Take me to 13. Who has delivered us? Okay. From the power of darkness. Of his dear son. We do not have to stay with an orphan mentality. He says, I have delivered you from that. See, the enemy wants us to stay in a place where he can continue to torment us. He wants to stay in our mind. You know God and forgot about you. You know he's mad at you. You know he don't love you no more. You know you can't pray and ask him for that because you done did all that. Come on. Hey, Amen. How many... Can somebody just talk back to me? I, I guess I'm the only one that I felt that way that I don't even know if I want to pray to God because the devil done talked so much to me in my head that I don't even know if he's going to hear me, hear my prayer. I don't really know about all these deep. Bow down to my knee. And the Lord said, you and their family. You part of the family. There's no more, watch this, earning. Because I accepted him as my Lord and my Savior. Then I got to start moving toward him the way I can change my mind that I can receive what it is God wants to do in my life and stop being a humilitary action in your own way. A lot of things that's being held up is because of how we thinking. Now, like Pastor said, we ain't into the just decreeing and declaring and we living in any kind of way now. Oh, I'm going to drive past that. Go to 14. We got five minutes. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. He says, now listen, with where we are today, I'm finna land this right here. But where we are right now, the world is in such a place that the enemy wants us to think that there's no hope. And the enemy wants us to believe that he's in control. But it's one thing that I didn't learn. Because the Bible says so. That before you can Loot a house, you got to first bind the strong man. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. So it's some stuff that I got to bound, bind in my own life. Because it's some strongholds in my life. Your life, our lives. That we got to allow God to bind them things. Where I can start walking in who I am. Because I don't know about you that, see, see, an orphan, see, I had an orphan mentality. That's why they spoke to me so. An orphan is angry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. An orphan is depressed. Yeah. Yeah. An orphan feels loneliness. Yeah. An orphan feels anxiety. Yeah. All of that's real, y'all. Right. But it's the manner in which we deal with it is what determines if we're able to move to the next place in our life. What I'm not saying to you is that you will not encounter those kind of things. But what I am submitting to you is that we serve a God that cares about us, that's paid a price for us, that if we'll trust him, he'll deliver us from all of that. Now see, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I think back on my life, and I have been in some places and some circumstances, situations in the last two or three years, I ain't gonna lie, I wanted to get made. <laughs> I did. I wanted to get upset. Clown, I, I, I was looking for him. Let me put my clown suit on. <laughs> I was looking for the clown suit. And I couldn't find them but joy. <laughs> Because, look, the orphan 
had been adopted. Y'all ain't gonna talk. See, y'all ought to shout right now. Cause I don't know about you. There is some stuff that I'm gonna reach for that dad and then took, he done put it in a nice little box. And covered it in the blood. And he said, I'm gonna take that right there and I'm gonna put it. Thanks be to God for all that he's done in our life. Thanks be to God for being a good father. We are not an orphan. Our father is not dead. We have not buried him in the grave. Yeah, yeah, but wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes, we did. But he didn't stay there. Wait a minute. Because after we buried him, he said, wait a minute, I got, I got some more stuff to do. I had to go down and hate. Because I knew that Mike was bound in a place that if he had not changed, he was on his way to hate. But I had to go down there and free him. And the ones who were sometimes disobedient. And then he came up through the grave. And when he came up out of that thing, he said, now you know what? God has given me power over heaven and over earth. All power has been given unto him. It says that he ascended to the right hand of the Father. And he is seated at the right hand of the Father with all dominion, power, and authority. That's who we with. Who you with today? That's, I got 30 seconds. Who? I just want to leave you with that. Who are you with? What's your daddy name? Y'all better talk to me. Who your daddy? Who your daddy? <laughs> oh! Who is our father? It is the hope. This is Pastor Willie B. O'Neill of the Mount Canaan Full Gospel Church of Birmingham, Alabama. Thank you for tuning in to our weekly service. We hope that you have been blessed by today's message. Please know that you are welcome to come out and share with us on any given Sunday. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page. Please click on the bell to be notified of any new uploads. And we thank you for joining us today. We'd love for you to join us. Our Sunday morning service is at 8 a.m. Our Sunday morning worship begins at 10.30 a.m. Bible classes convene on Wednesdays at noon and 7 p.m.